Greetings from Derek Dimitris. Hello, Derek. Uh, I follow your YouTube channel. Uh, help me getting through some of my 3D prints. And I'm now going to sign my own things. Thank you. You are so very welcome. Um, now, I'd like to expand into 3D wood carving. Ooh, that is an interesting topic. And uh, I've looked around your channel for some videos. And um, blah, 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 blah. All good stuff. Have you done any videos on on modeling things up. Two things you're looking for is a rope and a chain to be raised up. And let me just let me just show you here because I actually uh, took that image. So here you can all see the image that Derek sent me. Really cool US Naval Base. Um, and wanted to do some wood carving with that. And the two things that Derek is looking for is the is the rope and then the chain. And I thought we just did sculpt with the spoon. Uh, so that's probably how I would do this to uh, the rope here. Uh, the chain, let's go in and attack this. Um, so inside of here, I would use this function that is called insert a canvas. So it's also this one up here, insert a canvas. So let me click on that and select the face. I'm going to select the top face and select an image. And I'm going to go on and grab that image you just set, Derek. So I'm going to go and grab that and bring that in there. Now, when you bring it in here, you can do a different couple of different options I want you to know about uh, in this dialog. First of all, you can set the, the opacity. And I actually like, if I got to use this for sketching, I like to make it 50%. You can also scale it uh, at this point and make it bigger and smaller. But I actually prefer not to do that in here. I just bring it in and hit OK. <clears throat> when you do that, you get a, uh, a canvas folder here uh, where this image is now sitting in. And then I like to find out how big I want to I wanna do this. So I'm going to create a new sketch and select that face there and uh, hit C for circle. And I'm just going to draw out. I don't know how big you want to make this. You can see it's tiny. It's like 15 millimeters. So I'm going to make it, uh, let's make it 400. Right, like maybe it's like a big wooden plaque we're gonna do um, in here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish the sketch for a second um, because I'm actually gonna use that sketch to revolve around. But what I can do with the canvas, you can actually also go in here and right click on the picture and say calibrate. And if you do calibrate, now if we go to the top view, I can actually do the exact same thing. I can kind of pick somewhere over on the pixelated image, left click once left click twice and then I can type in that 400 and hit enter boom it just made it uh, as big as we wanted kind of like around there so that's that trick to that so like I said I would at this point go if I was going to do the the rope I would go ahead and click here I'll probably use the blanket to kind of like fit something that followed one of these ropes pull it up a little and make the, it bumpy and then I would I would uh, do it around. I'll tell you what, Derek, if you do that um, and send me an image of that, then I might just do one on mine and two. But what I'm going to concentrate on is this chain. And to do this chain, I want to use the, the sweep command for that. So I'm going to show you something really cool here, what we can do. Now, I am going to, to draw this up and use just one of the chains. Sadly, you can see the one they're not like vertical or maybe make it a little bit easier, but I'm going to, that's okay. We're just going to kind of try to outline something around here. So I'm going to start a new sketch. I could use the same one as I used for the, the first one to do the round, but I'm going to create a separate sketch for this. Zoom in on this chain. And why don't we use the, uh, the slot tool in here and select a, some kind of slots. So I'm going to select somewhere up there somewhere where I think it's going to end in there. And then I can kind of get a slot that fits around there. So that fits pretty good. Now, if you know me, I want to fully define my stuff. So I'm going to hit D for dimension and I'm going to select this line and this line. And if this gets a little hard to see because of the canvas, let's just turn it off. But let's just look here. Let's make this one. I'd like to round things up. Let's make it 18. Let's just go over and hit the light bulb on the canvas of turning that off. Um, and then let's give it some dimensions. Now, you could select from this circle to this circle, and it will give you a center on from center to center dimension, but that's actually not what I want. Oh, sorry. Got out of that. 
Um, if I hit different dimension, different dimension, oh, I'm gonna have nothing picked. Different dimension, right click out in space here. You can actually say select tangent, and now I can select the tangent from here to there, and I can get the outside. So that was a right click. <laughs> Round that up to 45. Um, and then I probably now where it's an angle, I would actually probably go in and create a couple of helplines in here. So one line vertical this way, like that. Hit D for dimension. And this line, and let's make this three degrees, like that. Uh, we can still see that it's underdefined, and that's probably just because we gotta tie something down like from here to the center. Let's make that 137. And from here to here, let's make that 10. See how it's now all black. That's what we're looking for, right? So now we kind of have, I'm a little bit off, but it's probably close enough. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good here. Um, and I have this, um, I have this one here. This is going to be when you're doing the, um, when you're doing the, um, let's stop the sketch here for a second. When you're doing a sweep, you need two, two profiles. You need a path. That's what we just used. And we're going to use a profile. What's going to be kind of like a circle. Now, the problem is that if I start a new sketch, going to circle, what am I going to circle on? Because remember, this is an angle compared to everything we have here. There is a function in the, and I've done a live stream on offset planes. So you can go to search that. Um, and I've told about being familiar with these. There's one here called plane along a path. And that's probably my first thought to use here. So I'm going to select plane along a path. If I select this path here, you actually get a plane that will travel, but it will snap to an endpoint. So I know that will snap right to that endpoint right there. You see that how it snaps right there. Snap. Let go and hit OK. Now I have a plane that is perpendicular to that edge. So now if I create a, sk a sketch on that plane, see the circle, and let's just make that maybe, I don't know, two. Let's turn the canvas back on again and see how that looks. Two looks a little small. Three. Three might be pretty good. Turn the canvas off again. So we have now the path and the profile. And we go up now and click on the sweep. And first it's asking for the profile. Profile sketch here. Whoops. That's that one. So a sweep, the profile. Ooh, why won't you select? Oh, it will select there. And the path, no, because I got it wrong. Profile is the circle. <laughs> oh, geez. And path is this one here. There we go. Uh, I had reversed. There is a chain link, right? That looks like a chain link. Turn the navel base thing up again. Here's a chain link. Looks somewhat close. We could adjust it. Now you know how to adjust it. We can always go back in and change these things. Then what I would do to do I would to to get more of these I would actually probably make it a little can we make it a little bit thicker edit I'm trying to make it three four four is four better four is a little thicker I don't think the U.S. Navy Navy is using three millimeter chain links are you kidding me it's the U.S. Navy for crying out loud that looks like it chain link somebody would use in the navy <laughs> all right so now we have one but we need more of these so what i would do was i would use this move command up here click on that and make sure it's at bodies and select this one here and you will see that the the cross is going to snap to it so just find a place where it makes sense like it, it might i'll snap it right to there select click copy right there and now we actually are working with a copy. See that? And, and these handles have all different kinds of functions. So we can actually go over here and brrr, turn that around 90 degrees, right? We can turn the, the, the thing back on again. Of course, the chain link looks like they're a little bit different size. 
I'm not gonna do anything about that, but I can literally try to place this link where I think it makes somewhat sense looking at the shadow. Hit okay. And we now have two chain links right there. Okay, we're almost done. Next thing I will do is I will use the pattern up here, but I wouldn't use the rectangular pattern. Let's just go and click here and go to pattern. It's like the circular pattern. And I'm gonna select bodies. I'm gonna select our two bodies. And then I'm gonna select for the axis that circle, the first circle I created. And now, you see how if I do the number, see how we are getting more? And now I'll just literally try to fit it up to the point where I think that it looks pretty good. That was 18. So I'm, I'm off. I am a little off here, uh, but that's because my chain link's a little bit, a little bit different size. But I think that if I hit okay to this and I turn the image off, I think we got a pretty good chain link, right? Now I made this total 3D and you're probably gonna, you're gonna wood carve this out and you probably didn't want, I'm assuming that you didn't want, you know, like undercuts, we're gonna do a plate. But here's an easy way to do that. If I go ahead here and say, I want to extrude and I select the inside here and just go down, not in red, I'm gonna make it a join in here and I hit OK, turn the navel base off. See what we got now? Now we got one body that has these are halves and these are halves. And then we got um, a chain link you could, you could machine. I think I'm pretty happy with that going off somewhat off the cuff here. What do you think, Derek? <laughs> Hope this was useful, Derek. Um, I'm just trying to get through some emails here on a Sunday.